Okay, we're here on Parkwood. Couple quick things. Here's a former room. Just take down the uh, plastic you see right here. Change out the water tank. And if we're gonna go over with the floor, I would just use the blue, just use it over here as well. The other side has the tile and we don't have to really worry about that. Um, all right, shine that up there for me. So we're gonna rip down this ceiling. You'll see the individual ceiling tiles. Rip these down, leave the wood slats in here in place. Uh, potentially we're gonna go ahead and paint the um, all the wood, including like all this. We might be able to paint all this black. I think here what we should do is just quickly peel up these tiles in this room and then paint this the same color as the uh, furnace area. Let's make sure when we're doing the maid service here that we clean this stuff up real good. These drawers that are down here in the basement, this stuff actually all, is all for the closet upstairs. So when we're putting that closet back together, uh, all that stuff will go. I believe that these wood doors are for one of the uh, doors upstairs as well. Let's also make sure that uh, when we clean, these closets all get wiped down nicely. You can see all the smudge prints. Cleaning the side door real well is good. You'll notice that all the cover plates are kind of like this. So there's a few others that I noticed in the house. All of these are all correct, looking good. Light fixtures all look good. We need a trim piece that's gonna, uh, for this little area here. Obviously we gotta build this out with uh, some drywall, corner bead, as well as this area here. This is a majority of our work. You got trim up and around the doors. These are the closet doors I was talking about where we can throw in a piece of drywall back here. Make sure that you leave an opening so that um, people can open this area and get to the back of that plumbing if ever needed. This is where those, uh, I think those closet baskets kind of go down through here. You've got a lot of trim. Make sure that you're gonna have, in this room you'll see your crown mold is all up in here. There are a couple of, um, the, the corner pieces, there's one that's missing over here, so take a look at it real good. I'm going to look in the other room, but I think all your trim from these rooms is sitting in here somewhere in this room. In fact, I think I'm seeing that corner piece. Yep, it's right there. And make sure we utilize all this trim for the proper pieces, get it all measured out. I think it all used to... Uh, be together and he took it all apart very nicely so just make sure you put it all back together uh, correctly and then obviously we'll need some bifolds for this and then we will be painting this room and the other bedroom and probably painting most of the rooms you know we don't have to touch the bathroom maybe wash the ceiling so it's a, a bright white Put up a, uh, a curtain here for this bathroom. Clean everything out really good. Use the snow bowl again for your uh, grout cleaner. And then over on this side, make sure we just obviously clean all this up real good. We're gonna paint this room, leave that brick, I think, kinda uncolored. Make sure that this is, um, you've got a, looks like there is a, uh, a plug right here. Just make sure that that is um, working and if we got to get some sort of uh, cover plate over it, just kind of take the measurement and make sure that we get it. These walls, let's go ahead and just go with um, probably like, you know, just a light gray color, if you will. 
And I'd probably even just leave the shades and that sort of thing. Everything else is actually in pretty nice shape. Um, and that's it. In this room, there's a couple of shades that are in really rough shape. Take these down and maybe uh, put up the uh, paper shades would be completely fine. Make sure you cut them appropriately and they're stuck very well to the top sill there. It looks like we could end up using a little bit of, uh, you know, possibly trimming this out actually with some uh, little one by pieces would be probably just fine. Same thing looks like with this window, a little bit of one by would probably be good. Take that ceiling fixture down and put up, you know, something. Kind of like that, just a dark colored one.